yeah, the Windows 11 upgrade, that shouldn't be anything you have to, it shouldn't really change anything for you unless you're using in central. If you're using in central, the one thing to be mindful of is that the keyword that you're going to be searching for has been changed. Uh, if you're using Insight slash RMM, then nothing different from you. It's still a, you know, Windows 11 upgrades will show up in the RMM if a endpoint qualifies for it. And it's just a manual approval. It's not something you can automatically say, yes, I want all Windows 11 upgrades to go through. You'll have to go into the uh, patch management workflow, find the Windows 11 update and decide, well, am I going to apply it to a whole client at once? Am I going to apply it to individual machines at once? Kind of figure out what your process is going to be there. But it should now be handling and detecting the Windows 11 upgrade paths for you. Now, if a system says, you know, if you look in there and you see a computer and you, it's a Windows 10 machine and the Windows 11 upgrade never appears for it, that is because the Windows OS on that machine has decided it does not qualify for the Windows 11 upgrade path. You will not be able to fix that through patch management or through RMM. You are going to have to go to that machine and use Microsoft's upgrade uh, tool uh, or upgrade preparedness tool. I forgot what the name of it is, but use that to figure out why you can't upgrade that machine and you know address why you can't upgrade it is it you know just because the tpm modules turned off in the bios we'll go turn it on is it because the uh, processor's not supported well okay you know, processor's not supported we're gonna have to replace this machine if we want to upgrade to 11. 